On Monday, this channel released a video called Five Reasons Why Going to Mars is a Terrible Idea, where we talked about some of the challenges involved in going to Mars that many people may not know or think about. But like everything in life, you gotta weigh the good with the bad. So today I'm gonna talk about five reasons why going to Mars is an awesome idea. Reason number one, the survival of our species. You know, that little thing. There have been five mass extinctions on this planet and no shortage of opportunities for that to happen again. Super volcanoes, gamma ray bursts, asteroid impacts, natural fluctuations in climate, and the unnatural ones. 99% of all species who have ever lived are now gone forever. It would be the height of arrogance for us to think that it wouldn't happen to us. Having all your eggs in one basket is a terrible idea. This is the reason why Elon Musk wanted to go to Mars in the first place. Now, Mars isn't the only option. I discussed some of the other options in our solar system in a previous video. But the bottom line is, for the long-term survival of our species, we have to find a way to live off of Earth. Possibly in other star systems. And that all starts with stepping foot on another planet. Might as well be the red one. Reason number two, the possibility of discovering life on another planet. Debbie Downer in the last video talked about the contamination problem when it comes to landing on Mars, but in the process he talked about how important it is for us to find life on another planet. If that did happen, there's two possibilities. The first is that the microbial life that we find is completely different from what we have here on Earth, which says that life is a hearty force, possibly even ingrained into the fabric of the universe. Also showing that our planet might not be so rare after all. Or we could find microbial life that's quite similar to life here on Earth, which would be good evidence of panspermia, the idea that life actually travels from planet to planet throughout the solar system and even across star systems. Either possibility is incredibly cool. But it's something we have to be there to find. The contamination issue is still an issue, but it's just something we're gonna have to be smart about. Reason number three, the spin-off benefits. It could be argued that the biggest benefits to the Apollo program had nothing whatsoever to do with the moon, but came from all the technological and engineering solutions that we created along the way. To quote Forrest Gump, science is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. We actually did a video quite a while back on the biggest spin-off technologies that came from NASA exploration, and it really can't be overstated how much these have changed the world. And each and every one of them were a solution to a problem that we never would have encountered if we never left Earth. To make it to Mars and eventually colonize Mars, we're gonna have to find solutions to the five problems that we talked about in Monday's video. But each one of those solutions could have huge benefits right back here on Earth. Reason number four, the economic benefits. While the powers that be have to be pragmatic when it comes to costs and budgets and stuff like that, the ancillary benefits that have come along with space travel over the years have had economic implications that we couldn't have possibly foreseen. Think about how much different the world would be without satellite technology. We're in the information age, and those global satellites are what make the transfer of this information globally possible. Think about all the businesses that have come out of this information network, the jobs that it's created, entire markets that have sprung up out of nowhere that didn't exist before. When viewed through that lens, the return on investment is incalculable. And just as a quick example of how this would apply to the Mars missions, one of the big hot topics around the Mars missions is the possibility of asteroid mining. The YouTube channel It's Okay To Be Smart actually just put up a video talking about the possibility of asteroid mining mining and the fact that it could be the gold rush of the next century and it's not as difficult as we might imagine. A colony on Mars would exacerbate the need for raw materials and resources and it might just be the spark that creates the innovation that makes this happen. And reason number five, we need to be inspired again. I and my entire generation were not around for the moon landings, which is a bummer, but one of my favorite videos is this video of Walter Cronkite announcing it and responding to the live feed. Man on the moon. What? <laughs> this is a grizzled newsman who has seen everything and he is absolutely giddy watching this. This is what inspiring the world looks like. The kids who grew up with the Apollo program entered the science and engineering fields in droves and created innovation after innovation that has shaped the world as we know it today. While inspiring the world sounds like the most intangible kumbaya garbage you could think of, the missions to the moon paid off in a big way. And it's reasonable to think that a mission to Mars would do the same and inspire a whole new generation of people to make our future incredible. Besides, in today's media environment, we are just inundated day after day with negativity and tragedy and grief. Wouldn't it be great to have something that brings the whole world together and makes us all giddy and inspired again? Wouldn't it be great if we all had hope for the future and felt like nothing was impossible? That alone might be reason enough. 
Now this is just a quick sample of reasons. Undoubtedly there's a whole bunch that have been left out, but what do you think? What is your favorite reason for going to Mars? Let's hear about it down in the comments. Please like and share this video if you liked it. And if you didn't see Monday's video where we talked about the challenges involved in going to Mars, the companion video to this one, you can watch it right here. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. You guys now go out and have an eye-opening week and I will see you next time. Love you guys. Take care.